Detroit's population has plunged 63% since 1950. It's actually down 26% since the 2000s. The unemployment rate hit a high of 27.8% in July of 2000. As of April 2013, the unemployment rate was at 16%. Detroit has the highest violent crime rate of any large U.S. city. It's actually five times higher than the national average. Take into the account that we actually have very, very cold winters and actually four seasons. That crime rate is pretty, pretty substantial. Forty percent of city streetlights actually don't work. Seventy-eight thousand structures and sixty-six thousand lots are actually abandoned. Arson accounts for one thousand of twelve thousand fires per year. Sixty percent of those arson fires are dilapidated or empty buildings. population in 2012 is 701,475. The population change since 2000 has been minus 26.3%. As of 2011, the estimated household income is $25,000. Of races in Detroit, black is considered 81%, whites are considered 8%, Hispanic is 7%, two or more races are considered 1.8%, Asian alone is 1.1%, American Indian is 0.2%, other races are 0.08%, and basically Native Hawaiian or other Pacific Islanders are considered 0.01%. In Detroit, the land area is 138.8 square miles. The population density is 5,055 people per square mile, average. For people 25 years or over in Detroit, high school or higher is 
of those having a bachelor's degree or higher is 13%. A graduate or professional degree is 5.1%. Of that, the people unemployed in Detroit alone are 29.3%. People that travel to work are basically at about a 26 minute drive to work. For people over 15 years and over in Detroit City, people that are never married is 52%. People that are now married are 24%. Separated is 3.1%. Widowed is 7%. And divorced is at 11%. Some of the nicknames or aliases from Detroit are America's Comeback City, Arsenal of Democracy, City of Trees, City of Straits, Pittsville, Hockey Town, The Motor City, Motown, The Paris of Midwest, and The Renaissance City. As far as the crime index goes for the state of Detroit, 100 being the safest, Detroit is actually a 2. The chances of becoming a victim in a property crime in Detroit is 1 in 16. In the state of Michigan itself, it's 1 in 38. In 1950, Detroit had the fifth largest population in the United States. Today it ranks 18th. In 1950, it was 1,849,568. And estimated to today, as of 2012, is 701,475. Detroit's unemployment rate has more than doubled since 2000. In 2000, it was 7.3%. Now in 2012-2013, is 2012, the abandoned buildings in Detroit alone are 78,000. Vacant lots are up to 66,000 estimated. More than 90% of crimes in Detroit go unsolved. 8.7% of crimes are actually solved in the city of Detroit. The Michigan average itself is 30.5%. In the city of Detroit itself, the average wait time for the police to respond to a call is 58 minutes. The national average is 11 minutes. The city services that operate in the first quarter of 2013, ambulances, 33% of our ambulances were in service. The city street lights, 40% of them were not working. In the city of Detroit, veterans from 2007 to 2011, there were 39,265. In Detroit alone, the language spoken other than English, from 2007 to 
from 2007 to 2011 from ages 5 and up were at 9.3%. In the same years from 2007 to 2011, as far as home ownership rates, 53% of people in Detroit own their homes. I have spoken about a lot of statistics. Detroit has an uphill battle, but in time, we will come around. The big three was invented here. Some of the first streets, if not the first street, was made here. Detroit is a true gritty city. The average rapper will complain or claim themselves about how hard their city is. This city declared bankruptcy one of the few ever in the United States. But just so you know, Detroit will never stop and nothing stops Detroit.